everybody. So today I'm going to show you how to do zero prep composite edition models with InLab. So in this case, we're just going to select four different restorations. They can be crowns, doesn't really matter. Um, and we're going to select them as five axis in the uh, administration phase here. It doesn't really matter what material, it can be anything. So you can see in this case that uh, this person has um, quite severe wear anteriorly and we want to rebuild those as naturally as possible. Now, there's a really nice feature that we've got in InLab that you can make the most of to rebuild these and then just print off a model. Uh, this is the first in two-part series. We're going to show you the other um, one later where we're going to make the model. Uh, but this is the first part. So what we're doing, we're just following through the normal in-lab workflow, same as the CEREC workflow. I'm just going to select each of these teeth. I'm going to select over the area which is remaining, which is the... Um, the natural tooth. In this case, this these teeth are untouched other than the wear. So it's pretty easy. But if you'd say had restorations there, it doesn't really matter because what we're going to produce is something which is going to become effectively part of the model for us to then print off. So I'm going to select around this as if it's a margin of a cavity. And it effectively is. It's a wear cavity. So we're going to select over each of these teeth selecting around where this cavity is. And obviously, I'm giving you this tutorial. We're building up these teeth, but obviously we need to take into account what's caused this, etc., the treatments, you know, night bite guards and what have you, which are beyond the scope of this little tutorial. But we'll go through this to show you how you would um, create a really nice mock-up stem. So we've just selected those margins. Now, this is the key part. People often struggle with this bit. What we need to do is we need to take all the contact strengths, all the thicknesses, everything to zero. If we take everything down to zero, including the marginal thickness, the ramp thickness, we're going to take everything up and I'm going to select apply to other um, uh, restorations. I'm going to take off consider instrument geometry and remove undercuts because I don't want it to take that into account. I just want it to be a pure buildup. Now, the next stage, we can select the morphologies, just the same as usual. So I'm going to try and pick something that looks along the same lines as the shape of the natural dentition that's already there. So in this case, we're probably going to pick something like a square shape for this, uh, this chap. And then I'm just going to move these to suit the position that I like. And I'll probably take things up a little bit. Try and blend what shows. Move things around, get that midline right. 